Yes, we are staying at this fine little place called Compass Bay. So what I thought I'd do is I would quickly give you a walk around of basically the location that we're staying at and the accommodation that we're staying in. So, so here is a gated entrance, so it's all gated community. There's like a pavement that we walk through and you need you need a key for it you need a key for it so everyone usually gets one of these keys but they're usually like in a drawer or something and yeah so this is the gated community it'll close up now and it's just a really secure environment so you feel really safe there's a lot of speed limit signs around and everything it's 15 miles an hour in this area i'm guessing it's the whole complex there is so much space to walk around and everything. It is really pretty as well. Like, look at all these flowers. Just hanging around and everything. And yeah, so let's just go and have a walk around so you can actually see the area that we're staying so in. So as you can see, it is a lovely area. It's all houses, car parks, like car parking space, driveways. And the houses are just so pretty around here. It's very homey, even though it isn't your home. Because it's at the lake over there. There's like a little lake, I think, over here. Like a pond. But yeah, so it's just nice and quiet all the way around. This is like to the left-hand side of the entrance. Yeah, so there is another entrance and exit, we think, down here. And that comes in the end too. So if you can look down there, I'm not going to go out but there's another entrance there and then it's well secured because obviously cameras so you can feel safe and everything and yeah so that's another entrance or exit to leave or to join in and you go up to, you go up to, get into the main road up there and that also goes up to the main road because there is the camping area there's the camping camping shop um, and then it goes up to there where it's like the um, main road. Yeah. And there's a shop far back. And then there's like shops over there too, so it's all really close to everything. We've also got these um, pet stations, which are obviously for pet waste and stuff, which is really good. They share like the bags as well, so the bags are provided just in case you don't bring your own. And there's basically like a section for dogs and stuff, so obviously signs to pick up your dog waste. Yeah, so there's like a canopy type of gazebo thing over there where you can go and sit with the view of the lake just down there so unfortunately I've had to do a talk over on this bit because there was music playing in the background but this is the bigger section for older children in the play area and it's right beside the lake as well as you can see right now and there is also like a small grill barbecue underneath the um, canopy, which is perfect if you want to spend time with your family. When you come out of the, um, well, come through the entrance, you actually have directly in front of you the swimming pool, the community swimming pool. We've also got disabled parking spots there, which is a lot easier. And. Swimming pool isn't too big, but it's a perfect size for everybody. So it's open from sunrise to sunset. And you do, if you come down, I highly recommend bringing um, your keys with you because it does include a key for that door there. So if you come down, as you can see, it says residents only. If you do come down, um, bring your key just in case the door isn't open to go to the toilet um, and yeah it's a really nice swimming pool it's nice and quiet it's temperature as well it's um, heated also so everyone isn't going to whinge about it being cold and got baby changing stations. there's even baby changing stations too which is handy for obviously parents that need to look after their children and now we're going to the right and this is the area we're staying in so and if we continue going straight down that is where we are 
staying at the moment. But first what I will do is, there is a like play area, which is, is it down that way? Yeah. yeah. Down there. So we'll head over there first. It's a very basic layout. So you can't really get lost. Yeah. So here's a small play area also up here. It's got swings and a slide. Then over the to the left is like a canopy type of thing as well with I'm guessing it's got a barbecue grill also. So this is like the small one. So it's accommodated for big kids and little kids, but mostly as a little kids, there's a dog litter thing there. So as we head back towards where we're actually staying, we are staying down the road called Adelaide Drive and we are at the number 5148. The street is very, very quiet. There's no trouble or anything in regards to it. It's very easy to get to and even they have garbage dispose like pickups on every other day and it's just such an easy way to just make sure everything's kept clean and tidy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna now take you around the house so you can see how amazing the inside is and where we stayed for the past three weeks so on the ground floor as you come in there is a bathroom to the left hand side with a sink a toilet and a mirror alongside some small little decorations in there to make it feel very homey and then as you turn around as you can see there is a door there which is for the garage and that fits one car in it and then to the right there is a kitchen with all the amenities including a fridge oven microwave dishwasher sink and even a coffee maker over there is a dining table which fits about eight people and then there's a massive TV which you can also put on your Disney Plus and even Netflix if you can sign in. There's also a big corner seat too so you can all sit down and be comfortable. Out the back there is a big table which you can all sit down at with an umbrella. So now onto the first floor, we are in the first bathroom which is just a shower which is easy access for people with disabilities and it always comes with shampoo and soap and it is very spacious and very easy to get into. There is a towel rack, a mirror, a light, a canvas, a sink and a toilet and it is a very basic look but very classy at the same time. And now we are going into the first bedroom, which is the first guest room. It is golf themed and is a double bed, so there is a lot of space. It is very bright, it is mostly yellow colours and the canvases are pretty, there is prints on the wall which are pretty and there is a wonderful bed frame as well which is like this hard wooden oak type of feel and so there is a small lamp on the side just in case you need to use it in the middle of the night for anything. There is also space underneath the bed, which you can put stuff under, just like a suitcase or a bag if need be. And then as I turn around, you will be able to see that there is also a small wardrobe where you can hang up all your belongings and there is ample space for you to use. And here is the biggest room. There is a king size bed, a television, and two windows, and it is so spacious. And then there is also a bathroom in here, which is accessible through this door. So this room includes a bath and a shower with a shower curtain and some canvases on the side. With this bath, I think it's perfect for people that have small children and they want to be able to bath their children without any struggles because it is deep but not too deep and is perfect if you need to lean over and crouch. There is a toilet, some small decorative items as you can see here on this little table side unit, several little mirrors that are displayed on the walls, some decorative lights which match the other bathroom, a long mirror and a marble covered sink and then as I turn around there is some more mirrors which you can see here and then on the back of the door 
there is a few hangers which is perfect for if you need to put a dressing gown or clothes whilst you're having a bath. Then when you come back onto the landing there is two doors to the right hand side and inside is a washer and a dryer. To the left of that is an ironing board with a shelf above like a shelf rack and an iron as well just to help you out just in case you forget any of the things that you need. And then opposite the washer and dryer there is another bedroom this is a double bed with a wooden bed frame on it as well and there seems to be like a wooden theme in here it also has a lamp on the side with some very pretty curtains a small chair some shelving and a widescreen television and then to the right of that is actually a big wardrobe which is perfect to put all your belongings in and even your suitcase if you're using a suitcase with a rack on the top and even on the floor in the bottom right corner there is a safe so you can put your personal belongings in it and then as we go into the bathroom which is also in here there is a massive bath which is a little bit more sh um, shallow compared to the other one and it comes with a shower and some soap which smells absolutely lovely alongside some shampoo just in case you forget some. It includes a toilet obviously with a toilet cleaner and a bin alongside a towel rack, a very long and wide mirror with some very pretty lights and a very long side with two cupboards underneath with two very pretty pictures that I absolutely love on the wall which are like these type of poppies and as you turn around you're able to see the side in more detail it's like a marble type of design and it includes a soap as well which is there if you don't have it when you arrive and finally this is the last room it is two single beds and is perfect for children and is animal themed on the walls with all the canvases there is also a small cupboard inside which has some racking shelf on the top and can fit two or even just one suitcase in it so we have come to the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed seeing the lovely accommodation that we stayed in. I want to thank the owners for letting us stay there in our time of need. Their information is currently on the screen so if you do want to contact them all of their information is there for reservations. And with that being said I hope you enjoyed seeing all of this information, the accommodation and the area around it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I shall talk to you guys very, very soon.